Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. We're going to continue in with naming alkanes, but now we're going to move to branched alkanes. And what we're going to do is look at how we're going to name those. So a couple key words to begin with. Branched alkanes are going to have all single bonds. So we still have our alkanes. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add in what's going to be known as our parent chain, which is going to be the longest continuous chain of the hydrocarbons. And then we're going to be branching off our substituent groups are the smaller side chains. And so we're going to see these side chains or substituent groups are going to the smaller ones branched off there. So the three we're going to deal with in here, all of them are going to be used organic prefix naming, and then they're going to end in YL. So our groups are going to be one carbon is going to be called our methyl group. And so example here is if we were to have a carbon chain and then off of that chain somewhere we were to branch up and just have one carbon here, that would be known as a methyl group. So this part here would be our methyl group. Now from there, if we were to take and have two carbons, that's going to be known as an ethyl group. One, two carbons. So we'd have a carbon and a carbon. This part here would be that ethyl group. And then finally, if we were to have three carbons, one, two, three, so carbon, 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 this would be known as a propyl group, where it would have three carbons associated with it. So YL, YL, YL is our ending. So when we draw our parent chains, our first part, we're drawing the parent, or excuse me, naming and drawing these branched hydrocarbons using the org organic prefix for our parent chain as our first step. Now, once we've completed that, we're going to insert our side chains into the correct position. And then the carbon's going to always make four bonds. So we just want to make sure that we have enough hydrogens to do that. So our first one is 2-methylbutane. So to begin with, we're going to go backwards, start at the back. Butane is going to be our carbon chain. So butane, one, two, three, four carbons would be our shorthand drawing for butane. Now we assume that we have carbons or hydrogens wherever they're not uh, carbons at to get to four bonds. And then at the two site, so if we wanted to number them, one, two, three, four, at the two site, we'd have one methyl group, which would be just one line moving up. So two methyl butane would look one, two, three, four, with one coming off the top side there. So two methyl butane is our first one we've just drawn with a branch chain. Now our second one here, it says heptane. And then from there, three ethyl, four methyl heptane. So heptane's our parent chain. So we're always going to name our parent chain first. Draw that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total carbons. Off of the third carbon is going to be our first side chain. So one, two, three, an ethyl group. One, two is going to be our ethyl, ethyl group. And then four methyl off of the fourth carbon. Oh, where did our ethyl group go? And then four methyl, one, two, three, four. We're just going to draw. And you could have those pointing in the opposite direction if you'd like, but we want to make sure that we have an ethyl group down below and our methyl group here. So we've got that ethyl group being shown here and that methyl group being shown there off of the heptane chain. So to practice these up, 3-ethyl, 2,4-dimethyl hexane. So to start out, our first step is we need to start with the parent chain, hexane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now from hexane, after we've built hexane, we need to see where we have 
our side chains at? So 3 ethyl. So our carbon 1, 2, 3 carbon. So we'd have our ethyl chain 1, 2 off of the side there. And then 2, 4 dimethyl. Di meaning that there's two methyl groups. So we'd have one methyl group off of the second and one methyl group off of the fourth. So hexane, six carbon chain with one ethyl group at the third carbon, two and four methyl groups at the second and the fourth carbon there. And then our key one, got to change this up slightly. It needs to say instead three ethyl hexane. So please make sure that we look at that. Now, once we've done that, 3-ethylhexane, or 3-ethyl-2-4-4-trimethylhexane, so our parent chain we start with, hexane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbons, 3-ethyl off of the first, second, third carbon, we'll need our ethyl group. Trimethyl, we have three different methyl groups, one at the second carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, one at the third carbon, and then finally another one at that fourth or at that third carb or fourth carbon. Oh, where did that other one go? So in the end, two four or two two four four trimethyl are methyl groups, and then our three ethyl off of a six chained hydrocarbon hexane. So our general format for naming these include this info here. on that title. So the general format, number, number, dash, or number, comma, dash, side chain, parent name, all is going to be included together. And some of these, we're going to be filling out A, B, and E here. We're going to finish out the rest as we're going. So you're going to find the number and the name of the parent chain will be our starting point. This number of the parent chain from the closer end to that first side chain to give us the lowest possible side chain numbers. We're going to be finding each of the side chains. Then we're going to write the number using hyphens to separate numbers and words and commas to separate numbers. Do not add spaces between the last chain name and the name of the parent chain. So our first practice problem, what we're going to do is look through to find our parent chain. So our longest parent chain listed here. So we're going to start out with, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we have pentane here. So pentane's there, and we have one carbon chain off of there. So that one carbon chain's off of the one, two carbon of the second of the pentane. So it's going to be two separated with a dash methyl group for the one carbon, and then two methyl parent chain pentane. So two methyl pentane as our first compound to name there. Now continuing, remember we got these letters off to the side. They're kind of out of a little bit order right now. To continue on now, that remember that general format, you can find the parent chain and the side chain. If the same side chain occurs more than once as a branch, we're going to be using the Greek prefixes, di, tri, tetra, um, in front of that to indicate how many times it appears. So an example of this one is going to be, we have a one, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven carbon chain. So we have heptane, but notice we have a one, two, three methyl groups. So we have heptane where those methyl groups are, and we're going to notice this in just a second that I numbered the opposite way to start with the smallest one. So we have three methyl groups. One's located at the two, comma, five, five. So two, five, five. How many total do we have? Separate a hyphen. Try methyl. And then finally our parent chain, heptane. So in the end, 255-trimethylheptane is going to be the way we can name that one. And this little guy here, we're going to find the parent chain, longest carbon chain, just going straight across, 2, 3, 
five, six is our longest chain. No matter which way you go, you get that same one. You can try some different counting. And then from there, we have an ethyl group, two carbon chain, and another ethyl group, two carbon chain, at the three and the four spots. So in the end, three, four is where we have those ethyl groups. Since we have two of them, it's going to be diethyl. And then six carbon chain, hexane. Whoops, no space in between that. That should be just one word. So 3,4-diethylhexane is going to be the structure we've seen there. So where they're placed at, what they are, and what our parent chain is. Now, if there's more than one type of side chain, we're going to alphabetize them by the side chain. So ethyl first, then methyl then propyl when it comes to alphabetizing. So as we start to look at our parent chain here, longest carbon chain, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a hexane and we have an ethyl group and a methyl group and another methyl group. So two methyl groups there. So when we start to look at this one, the ethyl group is going to be named first. So since it's alphabetized first, where is it at? 3-ethyl, separated with the hyphen. And then our next one is going to be, we have two methyl groups. So two methyl groups, and they're both at the 4. So 4, 4, di, since there's two of them, methyl, in our parent chain, hexane. So as we're going forward, we're going to be working on finding our parent chain. And then from our parent chain, our side groups, where they're located at, side groups, and where they're located at. We'll let you continue to work on naming and writing our organic branched compounds.